So HSN Inc., which is our platform, we're a complete direct-to-consumer business. So we have HSN across all our platforms, TV, digital, mobile. And then we have eight e-commerce and catalog brands, you know, Frontgate, Ballad, et cetera. I think the commonality between all of them is these are brands with, you know, heritage, history, relationships, and we tell stories through the product. And my reason for even joining the company is I had spent my whole career not in retail but with brands such as Nike and Ralph Lauren, and we would create this incredible product that came from authenticity and stories. And with, you know, with Ralph, it could have been The Great Gatsby or English Heritage. At Nike, it was inspiration and innovation. And it was very frustrating to have to sell through channels that would not be able to bring that story to life at the end of the day. So to have a series of networks where you can create contextual storytelling around product, whether it's in a live format or video online, you're creating relationships with people that go beyond transactions. And that's what we're trying to do. Those are a lot of you know words that are people right. using relationships with products and things like that. Let's talk about what that means to you right now, uh, because a lot of the more successful companies, uh, the, what the fastest growing companies in the internet right now, are about that. They're all about uh, sort of an ongoing relationship people have. Some of them that are very successful recently, One King's Lane, right. um, uh, Pinterest, uh, and and even Groupon, despite all the attacks it's gotten, it had a you know the humorous, wacky thing they were trying for, which didn't wasn't tur turn out not to be so funny. Um, talk about what, how, how you do that when you're in an online space. Now, right now, online is about a billion dollars of your... Uh, about a billion four of our 3.3 billion. It's about 35 to 40% of the HSM business and about 65% of our e-commerce and catalog businesses. Mm -hmm. um, but what we really try and do... So if you look at where HSN came from six years ago, mm -hmm. they basically had people up there just selling stuff, mm -hmm. right? There was no context to it. It was more screaming at people to do things. Yeah. And you know, I looked at it from the point of view of we should be as entertaining and engagement as any kind of network. So if there's Food Network, if there's HGTV, DIY style, any of these lifestyle programs, why couldn't we be like that, but we could also sell the product? Right. So we went from selling cookware to having Wolfgang Puck, Emeril Lagasse, Curtis Stone, Padma Lakshmi, Todd English, now telling you what the product is, how to do the demos, what the recipes are, and creating content from the live show that we could then filter across all our platforms, create video content that would live 365 days a year. So somebody coming in, they're not just being sold a product, they're being able to interface with recipes, content, et cetera. So it's, Very different model. Is, is it a requirement now to have these stories? Because there's, there's, there's bunches and bunches. That Rakuten just invested in another one. Uh, I forget the name of it, uh, which does a lot of that, where the product comes from. They have a daily product, and they talk about the product itself. There's one in uh, Brooklyn. Called, if you want to be a Brooklyn hipster, you go to this site, Indie Food, and they tell you all right. about how they made their precious okra vinegar okra stuff. And I, I, ho horrifyingly, I read the entire thing, and I was fascinated <laughs> by it, even though I never wanted to speak to these people. But, um, but I, I, I was engaged in it. It was a really interesting thing that I wanted to know where my products were, what, what, how it was made, and they had videos and stuff. Is it a requirement now to do this when you're selling products? Because screaming did work. I mean, well, well, it really didn't. We were <laughs> bleeding customers, right? Nobody wants to be sold. Right? So the idea that we say is we, want, we don't sell, we inspire. We give people a reason to want that product if they so choose. So I do think it makes a big difference, especially for our customer. 87% of our customers are women. So there's the demographic side of who they are, and then there's the psychographic. Right? She really likes engaging. She likes the story. She thinks it's empowering. So if somebody comes up to her and says, you know, I like your bracelet, um, the difference between a customer walking out of Bergdorf's, and they say that too, she keeps walking. Our customer will give you a 20-minute dissertation on that bracelet, who designed the bracelet, why she bought the bracelet, and it almost becomes evangelical. She feels like she's connected to the product, um, and that makes her feel that she's in the know with her friends, and that's really important. But, but in doing so, what are the techniques you're using? Because a lot of them are online techniques. is social. 
Uh, Mobile. Right. Talk so about the, the, the way we're trying to engage is how do we leverage content, community, and commerce? And everybody's using those three Cs. We had a fourth curation. 75% of all the products we sell are exclusive to us, mm -hmm. which is another reason. Um, so we have a number of platforms. We have the live content. We're live 24 hours a day. We measure our business in dollars per minute. Right. Um, that content then automatically so gets fed that online. That one growing, that one, the live network content. Well, interestingly enough, it's not growing as fast as digital, but we don't bifurcate them because today somebody could be watching the television screen and using their mobile as a checkout device. Mobile's our fastest growing platform. We did more sales through mobile in the first half of 2012 in all, than we did all in 2011, and it's scaling geometrically. Mm -hmm. And that's whether she's on the mobile device shopping or she's using it as a checkout device, and now she can also use it as a gaming platform. We launched HSN Arcade, which is our gaming portal, um, where you can come and play casual games while you're watching the live stream of the show. So you can shop, play games, and again, it goes you're back playing to playing games engagement. while you're shopping? Absolutely. Why do you want people to do this? So we know what our customer likes to do. She likes to shop. She likes to share. She's very social. She's on Facebook and other social uh, mechanisms. And she loves to play casual games. 61% of all the games played online are women 30 to 50. Right. So we said... Fascinatingly, all the companies are run by geeky men from Silicon which, Valley. Which is really I interesting. Know. It's always interesting. Um, Pinterest is fascinating because it's mostly women and on the service and Pinterest it's all run by men. Pinterest has been amazing. The amount of traffic. So Ballard Designs, which is our home business, their number one traffic source is now Pinterest out of uh, kind of the blue. But again, it's kind of sharing your likes and it's what people want to see. But the game thing is amazing. And it's not just the gaming portal. The idea of gamification mm -hmm. in general is core to what we do. It's the impulse. It's why do you want something now? Um, and it becomes a game. I can get it first. I can, you know, so to be able to play the games you want, and we reskin the game so we could put personality. So if we have Queen Latifah coming on, we, you can play a fashion game against Queen, or you can play a game with Wolfgang. And people get engaged, and while they're there, people who come in through the gaming portal spend three times as long time on site and convert three times higher because they're surrounded by product, <laughs> and they'll play and see, and you know it's about engagement. W what is a reason for somebody to come to us and not because we want to sell them something? And I think that's important for any brand today. You know, w what are you providing that's you know beyond the transactional side?